What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm still in H Town, and my next stop is Refried Relics, an awesome toy store, a unique toy store that has not only vintage toys, they got vintage clothing, records, finals, they have BMX bikes from the 80s, so vintage, all vintage stuff. So, this is a very unique store, a very awesome store. Lots of cool stuff. The owner portal is an awesome dude. Always like going in there, channeling him, talking toys and, and what whatnot. Uh, so if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Definitely hit the subscribe button to keep up with my future toy hunts. And also you can go back, check out my past ones and give me a follow on Instagram at SoCal So let's head on in. Let's get this toy hunt started. Hopefully we find something cool to take home. I always find something cool here at this shop. So I'm hoping that she continues today. Let's get this toy hunt started. are in my hometown of Houston, Texas, each town. So I love seeing this old school sports merch, Oilers, the Houston Rockets. Uh, I remember going to those parades when they won the championship in the mid nineties. And before coming to San Diego, I used to work for the Houston Rockets as an audio visual technician. So a little info for you guys that didn't know, but as you see here, baby skates is a crazy little toy. I've never seen before made by Mattel comic books here's an awesome spider-man vintage raincoat and that poster i gotta have that poster it's not for sale but maybe one of these days i'll find one for myself lots of cool vintage plates it's on top look at all those castle gray skulls firehouse ghostbusters playset as well with the box and lots of cool vintage posters there hung up this store really makes you feel like you're in the 80s and all these cool vehicles here you got the Mach 1 Speed Racer, Turtle Van, the Batmobile. Down here we have some cool Brave Star figures. Lots of 80s stuff thrown in. Centurions, Thundercats. I believe those first ones that came out were Matt or not Mask 18 uh, action figures. More Thundercats, some Rambo stuff. Very cool to see. And then here we have a little army of David Hasselhoff figures from Knight Rider. So you need a Hoff. They got plenty here at Free Fry Relics. And then some more Batmobiles, including that Superpowers one, which I do still need for my collection. Here we have some Vintage Loose Turtles that I'm a huge fan of, one of my favorite toy lines. And I know a lot of you guys that watch also love that toy line. Here's some more desirable master figures there. You got the Black Face Grizzlor that I still need to add to the collection. Did not pick it up on this trip, but maybe uh, down the line I might come across one. And then some carded, real Ghostbusters figures. Always cool to see carded 80s stuff. Spectre Gadget is cool too. And then here is uh, kids my age are familiar with these old Ben Cooper Halloween costumes. I myself had some of those growing up with the trash bag costume and then that crazy mask. And then here's some Ewok Villages, a couple Ewok Villages, and some more Star Wars play sets. Still need that Death Star. And the Star Destroyer playset. And then down here at the bottom, uh, if you guys know what this is, let me know. I believe it's from Spawn. I'm not totally sure, but that's what it looks like to me. We got the awesome graffiti up here on top. Refry Relic's name. Very cool. A bin of more loose turtles. And these, of course, are missing accessories. Always cool to catch figures for cheap in those bins. There you got Metlar from the Humanoids. I love those big monsters. And then Mass. I've recently picked up that Hurricane in the last video. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. From Super Happy Incredible Toys. And lots of uh, G.I. Joes here. And then on this side we have the Vintage Clothing, which is a thing I love seeing myself. Check out these crazy kid G.I. Joe shoes. Here is, I believe, is a Weeble toy. But yeah, I used to deal in vintage clothing. I still do, not as much as I used to. Especially uh, vintage t-shirts. I love vintage t-shirts and uh, yeah, I used to sell them. Another cool Rockets hat. 
It looks like that was like a giveaway in one of the games. World Series champs, the Astros, a little duffel back there from the 80s. Lots of cool shirts and hats. Check out this amazing El J vintage shirt with a puffy print. And then this jacket right here, Iron Maiden, is one of my favorite bands. It was insane to see. Priced at $250. Uh, priced accordingly. Never seen one like that. Probably never will again, but awesome to see. And then on this side, we have a, a lot of Master Universe figures. But first, we'll check out the little bit of 80s girl toys that I have here with My Little Pony. You got She Ra. Cool. You don't see a lot of those at stores. Of course, mostly uh, boy toys is what you see mostly of. Thunder Punch He Man just chilling up here on top. A couple of Voltron figures. Back to the Masters figures down in the case. You got a couple of Panthors, Snake Mountain, just a whole bunch of He Man, um, Battle Cat figures, another Castle Grey Skull. So lots of uh, figures to choose from from the main line. More G.I. Joes. Still haven't picked up any Joes. Don't know if I will, but I always love seeing them. I do have the Street Fighter ones. And here we have the Batcopter and the Batjet. Not to be confused with the Batwing. And it's crazy to see all these superpowers, Lexor vehicles in the box. It's insane. There's four of them. Transformers. Love to see those. And then there goes the ad at Hall of Justice superpower place it on top. And then some old school stuff like Big Jim. And then I always forget what this creature is. So if any of you guys know, know in the comments, let me know. Dick Tracy Cotmobile. That's an old one. 60s or 70s. Here we got Vintage Star Wars. Man, I'm missing just a handful of Vintage Star Wars figures. Of course, the most expensive ones from the last 17. Still on the lookout for some of those. As well as the superpowers. Missing a few. I hope to pick up and complete those collections because those are two collections they do want to complete every figure of some of the 12 inch Star Wars figures that I started to pick up recently and then of course what makes this shop unique they do sell BMX bikes from the 80s as you can see here I mean, you guys remember those movies in the 80s BMX bandits rad probably the best one my kid loves that movie it's an awesome movie great soundtrack as well and then here finish off we have a whole bunch of 90s carded figures samurai super cyber squad I remember that show some toy biz and congo dragon heart uh, so that's it for refry relics hope you guys enjoyed it i know i did i love coming to this store every time i'm in houston all right, everybody, I am out of refried relics. An awesome time as always. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can check out their Instagram. Check out all the cool stuff they have for sale. Awesome store refried relics. If you're in Houston, anywhere near Houston, come visit Houston, definitely check them out. I did pick up, I picked up two items, two awesome items that I needed for the collection that I've been looking for. And I'll show you those when I get back home in San Diego. So I'll see you then for the pickups. After these messages, we'll be right back. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official Soul Couch Holland merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, black, or any other color that's available here for your liking. We'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs i had made for conventions like the ones you see here and even have stuff for the ladies and check back often as i'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time merch store link in the description below to order your scs logo shirts today another awesome visit to refried relics in my hometown of houston texas always love checking out that store port of the owner is a cool dude always love chatting toys with him always shows love with the deals the prices it already has good prices to begin with which is great always great right so, Re refi relics great store always love going back there and it's a unique store you saw they have vintage clothing which i love i used to sell a little bit uh, a few years ago back in the day still do a little bit not so much because a lot of people are doing it now they got bmx bikes from the 80s which is always cool to see 
and just a big selection of vintage toys as well as a plate they got play sets they got they got it all right there uh, i did pick up two items today to add to the collection uh, i'm a superpowers collect i'm trying to collect that line one of the few toy lines i am trying to collect every figure of and i picked up another one to add to the collection this is decide right here picked them up for real cheap he's missing the little tubes that go like on his chest to his back but you know i don't care uh when you can pick up a toy like this for real cheap you gotta add him to the collection and he'll be like a placeholder for whenever i do find one what the holes is i mean it's really no big deal to me like i said when you pick these up for real cheap why not right or pick up another one repair them we do like a little doctor toy surgery going on you know lots of people do that repair toys and stuff uh, so glad to add this guy to the collection and he's very clean which is awesome just besides those missing tubes but i don't care he's still gonna look cool with my superpowers up there on the shelf so glad to add this guy to the collection to decide from the superpowers toy line and then the other figure i picked up this toy line is not one I'm very nostalgic for. I remember the cartoon was a short-lived cartoon. And I remember the figures here and there. But uh, as an adult collector, I've been drawn to them. I'm a big fan of Kaiju, Godzilla. So that's one of the reasons why I like this figure and some of the figures of this line. And I'm talking about in humanoids. And more specifically, the one of the big monsters, uh, creatures from in humanoids. Here we have Metlar. A hideous beast born in the core of fiery earth. A nightmare of terror. It's Metlar, inhumanoid enemy of the earth core. Inhumanoids, inhumanoids. The evil that lies within. Metlar, we're gonna get stomped. Not if I can help it. Rock fly. You can't escape Metlar. Metlar and other figures sold separately from Hasbro. Inhumanoids. Awesome pickup. I'm glad to add this guy to the collection. Uh, very cool. He's huge. Check him out. Awesome guy right here. Complete. Uh, a lot of times these guys, the horns broken. The little whiskers here are broken. And uh, whatever this is, it's like translucent on his teeth. A lot of stuff that stuff's broken. He's in great shape. Legs are a little loose, but it's no big deal. He'll still stand. And yeah, awesome. Glad to have this guy to the collection. This is Metlar from Inhumanoids. There's three big figures uh, in this line. And that's pretty much all I want to get. Uh, because they look awesome. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's what, maybe 12 inches? This is awesome. Uh, like I said, I don't have very nostalgic feelings towards this toy line. But I do think they're awesome. Which is why I probably won't pick up the smaller figures. But... Who knows, if I could find them for cheap, why not, right? Uh, so we'll set this guy here. We'll set him down on the couch here. You can watch the rest of the video. Hopefully he doesn't fall right there. So I also got this. This guy I already had in the collection. This is Tendril. This is this is the other one of the big creatures in the Inhumanoids line. And um, <laughs> this guy is freaking amazing. Actually, all these are. And a lot of times this guy's broken his teeth are broken or his tail but very good condition these are getting uh, up there in price so if you get them for cheap definitely pick them up i'm missing the last one is decompose he's probably like the pricier one of all of this toy line so i'm definitely gonna be looking out for that one on my toy hunting adventures or online wherever i can find them for a great deal uh so those were my pickups at refi relics in houston texas hope you enjoyed the video this is probably going to be my last toy hunting video of the year of 2022. It's been a great year. I'm thinking about doing a top 10 pickups video of 2022. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. Maybe put it out at the end of the year or beginning of, of next year. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I might do it anyway. I don't know if I have time. You got the holidays coming up, Christmas, New Year's. Uh, so we'll see if I can make it happen. But let me know if you guys are interested. I'll definitely put one out, uh, a top 10 of pickups, because I picked up a lot of great stuff this year. And I hope all you guys did as well. 
I do have one more video coming up, uh, probably Christmas Eve. It's going to be a special video at a toy museum I visited in Houston. So I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy that one. I'm still working on it right now. So look for that one coming up um, during Christmas. And yeah, just thanks again, everybody, for the continued support all year long. And yeah, we didn't reach the goal of 5K subscribers, but hopefully next year we get it. Um, giving away a signed Kevin Eastman Ninja Turtle figure for when I hit 5k uh, so yeah if you got any friends that are into watching toy videos hunting videos collecting uh, let them let them know about the channel SoCal Shaolin uh, yeah and again thanks again to all you guys for watching the videos subscribing leaving comments hitting the like button uh, thanks to all the longtime viewers and the new subscribers as well uh, cool talking to you guys lots of uh, great collectors and uh, just people you guys are great awesome thanks again everybody go look on everyone's toy hunts and i hope you guys have a great holiday christmas and more to come in 2023 uh, like i said let me know down below if you want to see that top 10 video more to come i'm gonna stop talking now because <laughs> i'll keep on going but thanks again everybody for watching and never thank you guys enough like comment subscribe and i'll catch you on the next toy hunt i'm so kyle Shaolin. i am out